All right, guys, here we go. Back on the bike. All right. We made it out to high dev. Gonna go get a first couple laps in. Take it nice and slow. We're not gonna get too carried away with any of this. A little nervous. It's not like me. Here we go. So yeah. First bit of track time. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a little little hesitant today. Uh, haven't jumped the bike at all. Have ridden a little bit, a couple times. Shoulder is just kind of is what it is. I'm hoping that it continues to get better, but it's definitely not what it once was. But I guess neither am I. So start out pretty slow here. Just kind of rolling, rolling around. Been a few months since I've been out here. Let's see what's changed. This jump's a little different. A little more of a double than a tabletop as it was last time I was out here. A little steeper faces, I think. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely feel like the faces of the jumps are a little steeper. And this jump feels like it's bigger. I had a hard time clearing this one clean, clean every time. And I don't blame that on the shoulder. I just blame that on... I just didn't have my timing down. Trying to get a feel for things, see how the shoulder is going to feel, see how the body is going to feel in general. I mean, come on, I'm not getting any younger. And unfortunately, I did, uh, I did lose a little bit of uh, video. I had one really strong Moto 17 minutes plus, all on video, trying to get some fast laps in. And I, I deleted that before I got it downloaded. So, here you go. This is the best lap I have recorded. It's not great. You can see I'm not jumping everything. But at least it's a video. At least it's a ride. I had a great time. High Desert is just one of my favorite tracks to go to. It's a little bit of a drive, but they all are, really. Um, Moto 541, of course, is across the street from my house, so that's cool. But they're not open that often. I guess is open all the time. I love it. First time I get the little double double here. This isn't a hard jump, but mentally it was pretty tough to start jumping stuff. Um, I guess it's pretty normal, but I'm pretty scared of falling down right now, hitting the dirt. The doctor did give me 100% release. Told me that there's still a good chance I could I could re-break this um, if I hit the ground. But you know, like I told him, it doesn't really matter. It seems like you can give it 20 years and still re-break it. So I'm not too worried about it. I just know that it's going to be a bit to overcome mentally to get used to, or to get back up to speed, I guess. But this is the start. Been riding at the ponds quite a bit. Um, well, not quite a bit, but the first few rides because just not that technical out there. Pretty safe. I'm not not really doing any jumping, just turn tracks or stuff out there. The only problem out there, well, there one of the problems with out there is that the ground is really hard. It is hard pack, <clears throat> and I really don't want to hit the ground out there. But kind of less likely to hit the ground out there. It's just not that. Yeah, you can see I didn't even push this whole lap. I just, uh, yeah, just letting it come to me, I guess. Just getting a feel for it, pushing when I feel like pushing, and just rolling it when I feel like rolling it. No pressure, nothing to prove. Just out riding my dirt bike, having a good time. The 24KX is a pretty solid machine, but look, the bike's barely broken. 
I don't consider the frame or suspension really to be broken until five to ten hours before everything flexes and settles into where it's going to be. I haven't touched a clicker on this bike. I haven't. I just don't feel like it's necessary right now until uh, until things settle in. Maybe after the next ride or two, I'll start playing with clickers, especially when we get back on the track, because it definitely needs some adjustment. Uh, stiffened up a little bit here and there. Yeah, we'll go from there and hopefully get some speed on this thing. Well, it's old man speed. Oh yeah, I just thought I'd throw this one in. This little clip here. First fall on the shoulder. Right there. If you notice, I don't have a clutch lever anymore. That's two clutch levers and like four rides or something. So I'm going to be making a change there. It's going to cost me a little bit of money, but it's going to be worth it. ASV coming for the for the new clutch lever. For the new new clutch lever. But anyhow, guys, that is about all I have for this one. So thanks for watching, and until the next one, I'm out.